there's already an even faster Hellcat, we lay out the safest vehicles of 2014, and we have some good news and some bad news about vehicle pricing in general. It's all part of the week in reverse here at the Car Connection. Perhaps the biggest product news of the past week came right from Detroit, where Chrysler revealed what it claims is the fastest, quickest, and most powerful normal production car in the world. The 2015 Charger SRT Hellcat does better with the same 707 horsepower, 6.2 liter supercharged V8 that's in the Challenger SRT Hellcat, hitting 60 miles per hour in just 3.7 seconds and a wholly rolling top speed of 204 miles per hour. It goes on sale the first quarter of 2015. And the 2015 Escalade hasn't been at dealerships for long, but Cadillac this past week already announced some updates to this model that will be phased in by the end of the calendar year. We anticipate that with its new 8-speed automatic transmission and revised four-wheel drive system that it'll get quicker and more fuel efficient, but you'll have to wait a bit for the official numbers. Land Rover launched a major recall for a potential issue with the passenger airbag system on its LR2 and Evoque models. Meanwhile, JD Power released the results of its annual seat satisfaction study, and those seats in the Evoque were rated right up at the top. The redesigned 2015 Sonata midsize sedan earned five-star crash test scores from the federal government. Speaking of safety, the all-new 2015 Chrysler 200 earned a set of top safety ratings from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. And then we pulled our focus back, looking at all the 2014 model year ratings and singling out nine models for which we've given a top score of 10 in the safety section of our full reviews. They're exceptional, but even among these top picks, like the Volvo S60 or the Mazda CX-5, there's definitely room for improvement. And then we had some good news and some bad news regarding vehicle pricing. The bad news is that car prices are creeping up faster than household incomes. Car sales are booming. And then some further good news out of all this growth, if you happen to be on a tighter budget, is that all these new cars and the surges of trade-ins they've brought are pushing down prices at the used car lot. The good news, of course, is also that whether you're shopping for a new car or a late model used car, you can hit the car lots this weekend armed with the best information possible simply by clicking around here at the Car Connection and reading our full reviews.